People come from all over the world to see these red rocks, but here in Arizona, we're lucky enough, we could head up here for a day trip. And if you want to stop for a bite to eat, you want to go where the locals go. You almost can't help but relax at Indian Gardens. Under a canopy of trees, in the shadow of the red cliffside, it's hard to believe the food could be as good as the view. He loves his food. Oh, yeah. But you know it's good when Joe Johnston is this excited. Look at the mint there, the fresh peaches. Oh, that's Instagram gold right there. You know Joe from Joe's Farm Grill, Joe's Barbecue, Liberty Market, and other eateries. But he's also the chairman of the Arizona Restaurant Association, and he says this is his favorite cafe in the state. It's really, really good. And as you can tell, I mean, we've got the breeze, it's cool, music in the background. I mean, this is all the restaurants in heaven will be like this. He and his wife are regulars, and they take away more than just a full belly. You know, I find inspiration everywhere, and I, every time I see food like this, I always remind myself plating is so important. Not seen that before. Look at how they spiraled that. I mean, this is awesome. So what impressed him most on this day? Sliced peaches from the local orchard with house-made cottage cheese, drizzled with local honey, a chutney made from green peaches, and fresh mint, all on top of just baked bread. We bake our own rustic sourdough uh, in-house here. Uh, with a, um, a sourdough culture that we've created here in the canyon, so it's just wild yeasts. Most popular on the menu, Dan the Man. I named it after my dad, Dan, uh, because he said, you know what I'd really like? He's, he likes BLTs. So he said, what I'd really like is a BLT with uh, green chilies on it and, and turkey and all that. So we, we kind of came up with something, we named it after him, and lo and behold, it became our best-selling sandwich. Since the 1940s, this has been everything from a gas station to a grocery store. Daniel Garland and his wife remodeled in 2011 with the community in mind. And just kind of wanted to make it more of a place where you could get craft food made from scratch, craft beer, craft wine, local wine. Um, and it's been really fun. It's, it's, it's been a blast. Roadfood.com named Indian Gardens the best affordable eats on your road trip. And it's been featured in Sunset Magazine too. Locals love it just as much. I come here maybe three times a week to eat the food, so it's, I couldn't live without it. People visit, I bring them here. Um, it, it's just one of my favorite places in the state, I have to say, to eat. Some say this spot takes you back in time. I think it also feels like old Sedona up here. You know, it's a little bit rustic and imperfect, but beautiful all the same. I love the outdoor patio. I think that really adds to the place. Um, you can just sit outside under the trees, even if it's raining, you know, any time of year, it's perfect. So to find Indian Gardens Cafe and Market, if you're coming up from the south, say from the valley, you take 89A through Sedona and keep heading toward Oak Creek. The cafe will be right there on your left before you get to the Slide Rock area. So coming up in the next hour, Joe Johnston shows us his favorite place to stay in that part of the state. Would you believe he's been staying there since he was in the womb? Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a while. It's story. been a while. It's a little while. Yeah. It's like 29 years. Yeah. I am, <laughs> that restaurant looks amazing. I'm so kicking good. myself. You know how many times uh -huh. I've been there and I always go to the the Dairy Queen. Yeah, <laughs> here, yeah. Right? I yeah. always go to well, Dairy Queen. Nothing's but never... wrong with DQ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen this and I didn't but really know it was inside. But the food looks amazing. It. Same. I mean, I've been up there a million and one times and I've never been, but I kind of have been hearing a lot about it the last couple of months. So I was going to do a story anyway, and then I happened to be talking to Joe about something else, and he said, oh, that's my favorite place in the whole state. I'm like, oh, well, done. And I mean, if it's recommended by him, yeah. you know it's good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, now I, we all have a new Let's place go. to try uh, out. Road, road trip. trip. <laughs> Plus,